Hi everyone, welcome to my new channel. I'm very happy to have you here. Today we are doing a reading for Virgo for the first half of February. We're going to pull several messages and see what comes through, what we need to know, what's happening for you in that period of time. We're also going to pull some oracle cards and an energy oracle card in the end. Voice the affirmation that you need to hear. Do remember that not every message will be for every single one of you. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start. Messages for Virgo. Oh, nice. Empress. Seven of Wands. Ace of Cups in reverse. Five of Cups. Eight of Cups. And Nine of Cups. Look at that. Eight of Cups going to Nine of Cups. Let's go ahead and clarify your cards. Let's see if these messages are related, if this is different, or for different group of Virgos here. We'll find out. Let's go ahead and start with Empress. What is this here for? For my Virgo. Clarify Empress. Page of Materials in Reverse, The Justice, The Star, huh. Wheel of Fortune in Reverse. What I see happening here is there's something that was kind of an idea of yours, something that you've been nourishing, something that you've been working on, something that um, you've been almost trying to give birth to a certain idea i strongly feel like this has something to do with job or career or maybe a certain side hustle that you were trying to do and it almost didn't take off it almost didn't take off here it kind of uh, didn't go in the direction that you wanted to it almost feels like there are some outside events here that prevented prevented the growth of this business project here there could have been some outside events there could have been some other people that were involved here and uh, this Wheel of Fortune in Reverse has been telling me that it wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time for this idea, for this financial idea to grow when you've started it first. What I see here is you're shaking up this energy of uh, possible loss. You're shaking up the energy of possible failure with this idea here. You're healing from it and the justice is being served here. I do feel you are embracing the energy of this Empress. You have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of ideas in you. You are very abundant. You are somebody who carries the energy of all four queens. Doesn't have to be gender specific, but you are somebody who's uh, who can bring their finances to the highest level, who can bring love and emotions to the highest level. Somebody who can nourish the world. And I do feel like there is some change in this situation. If this is your story, if you've been dealing with some project financial project that did not take off, that didn't go right, that didn't go in the direction you wanted, that you felt like there was, that it's just the luck wasn't on your side, this situation is changing here. There is healing in the situation here, there is wish fulfillment, and there is justice. The justice is being brought here. And you are bringing this to life. With this Empress energy, you're absolutely giving the birth to this project, and it will be healed and just. This is what I see. This is what I see. Definitely this was difficult. This wasn't an easy path. Definitely this was difficult. This is something that had its ups and downs. And I do feel like now you're, you're on an upward trend. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify this seven of wands. Seven of wands here. What is this for? For my Virgos. Muse of inspiration. Very nice. Six of materials, beautiful. Eight of materials, very nice. That's it, okay. So what I see here is a huge win. Seven of Wands is talking about an energy of a win. This is definitely something to do with your career. This is definitely something about you choosing the path that is right for you, that is, that is opening new horizons for you in your financial world. 
Six of materials, a very beautiful reciprocal energy here, an even energy of give and take when it comes to your finances. So the amount of energy, time and efforts that you're going to put in into whatever project you are nourishing here, you're going to get the reciprocal energy back, equal energy back. Eight of materials is talking about you being very busy. It's talking about you taking care of a lot of things. You're going to be busy at work and it's going to bring you rewards. You will be a winner here. You will definitely be a winner. If there is any competition around you for the, in this business, I do feel that you will be the winner here. There is growth. There is hard work, very hard work when it comes to your finances, but there is growth here as well. There is a lot of time and efforts that are being put in into this career of yours or possibly even a new business of yours, but there is a reciprocal energy that is coming to, back to you. The rewards will be as great as the time and effort that you put into this. You will be very busy, very busy time for you here in the first half of February. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and clarify what is this Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse for my Virgo. What is this here for? Page of Inspiration. The Death. Nine of Inspiration. And Hermit, your energy here. So what I see here, Virgo, there was somebody here coming towards you with some sort of cup of love, but it almost feels like it died before it started. The, you could have been dealing with a fire sign. You could have been dealing with somebody who's um, not very rational, but somebody who's kind of um, very impulsive. This is the energy I feel strongly from this card here. I feel like this is somebody who was trying to rush into your, uh, to your life to offer you some sort of love here. And it kind of ended before it started. With this death card here, with this Ace of Cups in reverse, um, honestly, they were not coming in the most, um, in the best energy. I feel like they were coming in this rushed energy. I feel like they were coming in this little bit of immature energy as well. They were trying to uh, come in very fast, but they were not really offering you um, a long relationship here they were not offering you a nourishing love in relationship i feel like this was more of a spark of passion here and uh, yeah i almost kind of finished before it started and i feel like you took charge of the situation i feel like you saw through right away what this was about you saw through this person right away and uh, you decided to stay in your power I feel like you decided not to accept this offer here and you decided to stay in a little bit of a solitude energy here. This is your card, definitely. This is a hermit, your card. This is you standing in your power here. This is you making a decision that is right for you. And with this particular offer here, I see this is you taking the time for yourself, taking the time for self-growth and possibly deciding to stay alone, to pass on this offer. This is what I see. Let's go ahead and... Um, Clarify this Five of Cups here. What is this about? This could be something that it will be happening for you in this first half of February. This person could be still coming towards you in this first half of February. But it almost feels to me like you're going to pass on this offer. Five of Cups for Virgo. Five of Cups. Two of Voices. Interesting. Five of Emotions. Nine of Voices and the Emperor. Interesting. So what I see here is that somebody left you out in a cold. Somebody left you out in a cold. Something, this was uh, something that you ha haven't seen coming. You haven't seen this coming uh, to you. This, this is something that definitely distorted your energy. This is something that you're reminiscing about. This could definitely be some um, uh, past relationship here, romantic relationship here that um, didn't go the way you wanted. I feel like maybe this person ended the relationship here and this was sudden for you. They kind of uh, left you blindfolded here. You didn't see this coming. Again, you have closed eyes here. With nine of voices here, it definitely gave you some headache. It definitely put you in this energy of uh, regret. 
This is what I see strongly here. Energy of being left in a cold and energy of regret here. You could have been dealing with an Aries. This could have been an Aries that uh, you've been dealing with. This uh, this person uh, is very controlling here. This person that is uh, a little bit controlling here, maybe even over controlling here. And um, I feel like uh, they didn't treat you well here. They left you in a cold here. They definitely left you in a cold. And this was a sudden change for you that you haven't seen coming. But what I see here is there is some new energy coming towards you. There is some new energy of love that is coming towards you and it's already pouring into your vicinity. This is something that you can already see here. This Aries could have been somebody who left you in the cold. This could be your past person or this could be the person that is coming towards you. This could be the person that is coming towards you to take control over the situation here and to offer you this new love. This is what I see, Virgo. This is what I see here. Let's go ahead and clarify this Eight of Cups. What is this here for, about? What is this Eight of Cups here about? You're walking away from something. Walking away from something. News of voices. Strengths. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Seven of voices and four of voices. All right, so what I see here is that you're walking away from somebody. You're walking away from somebody. You're walking away from a relationship that is kind of on fire here. Something that is uh, didn't go well. Something that left you in this energy that you now need to rejuvenate and heal from. Definitely not emotionally satisfying relationship. Something that is hard to walk away from but you must do so for your own happiness for your own sound to come and rise here for you you could be walking away from leo you could be walking uh, working uh, walking away from leo or somebody with uh, strong uh, leo signs that also have a lot of air in them there's a lot of air energy here i feel like you're taking a new path you're walking away you're walking away you're walking alone here you're definitely uh, walk in a path of truth. I feel like you've cleared the air with this person, whoever you've been talking to, or whoever this relationship has been with, and you've told them that you're taking a new path here. With the seven of voices, there was a lot of deceit. There were some lies here. There could have been even cheating in this relationship here. A lot of fox energy. This is a lot of deceit and a lot of lies. Like I said, this could have been a, a person that's been cheating on you. This could have been a person that kept a lot of secrets from you. And... Um, it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to heal, to walk away from this and to get on your own path, to get on your own path of truth here. This is what I see. You have the strengths. You are strong. You are strong to walk this path by yourself on your own. That does not mean that you're going to be alone uh, all the time. It's just telling me walking away from this, you have enough strengths to walk this path, to walk the path towards your sunshine. And to heal from this, to rejuvenate your energy and to prepare for yourself for something that is not going to have all these deceit and lies in it. That's what I see. And look at that. We're going from eight of cups to nine of cups. That's absolutely beautiful. Let's see what is this about. Nine of cups for my Virgo. Nine of cups, please. Oh, Virgo. The chariot. Interesting. Empress in reverse. Huh, two of emotions. Beautiful. This one. Okay. And six of inspiration. This is absolutely beautiful. It's telling me that walking away from this situation that is not fulfilling for you, you're going to walk into a wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups that comes straight after Eight of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment when it comes to romantic love life. This is you almost kind of jumping, jumping into new faith of love. You, the sun is shining bright here. You'll reach that sun that was here on the rise. And this is where you're going to end up. Chariot, a very strong energy over Cancer here. There is also Pisces here that comes through very strongly. Whatever this is, this is a ever win for you this is a win for you this is a celebration for you this is a move for you move into a beautiful romantic relationship two of emotions is two of cups this is a divine union a divine union where you are going to be recognized for your strengths for your love for your power for all the beautiful qualities that you have 
the person that is coming towards you is going to see you as a star. They're going to see you as somebody who is in charge, somebody who is powerful. Look at these energies. So similar, so similar. I do feel that they will recognize who you truly are and they will love you for it. Very strong energy of Cancer. There is the spicy energy here as well. The Pisces is uh, the high priestess. The Pisces energy is in reverse here, which is telling me that there could be some information that is not um, clear to you as yet. There could be some information that is hidden for you at this time that is only going to come to light in this uh, first half of February here. Maybe towards the end of that period of time. And once it does, you will see this. Uh, energy pouring into you this wish fulfillment pouring towards you that's what i see let's go ahead and pull some coffee cup oracle cards for you let's see what do we have here what messages we've got we have the choices in the pen oh no okay we're taking this but not that i just dropped that apparently so we have triangle with choices and decisions. We have the relocation and home with the house card. And what else? And we, oh wow, look at that. Opportunities and home with the gate. So the very strong message that I'm uh, um, getting here from this card for you is some of you are thinking about relocating. Some of you are definitely thinking about a change in home. You might have a few decisions that you are choosing from. A few choices, sorry, that you are choosing from. You might be a little bit indecisive here. You could be choosing a property where you want to stay. You could be choosing a place where you want to move. So definitely you will have a few choices. If you are deciding to relocate, to change home, maybe going from rental to owning a home, the, you will have more than one choice. You will have more than one choice and the new opportunities are opening up for you. That's what I see. All right, Virgo, let's go ahead and pull the energy oracle card for you and see the affirmation that is important for you during this period of time and the overall energy. Let's have a look, Virgo. Let's have a look. This one. All tied up. Interesting. This is an energy of... Uh, some sort of restrictions this is the energy of restrictions this is the energy of being tied up this is the energy of not moving not allowing yourself to move forward so this could be very important to you this could be important for you to get out of this energy to be able to make that move we've seen that you're strong enough to do that so don't uh, don't hold yourself all tied up here make the move Make the move. If you are in the relationship that is not fulfilling, that is full of cheating and some lies here, it's time to untie yourself from that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, read out the affirmation that comes with this. It says, I release stuck energy, all habits and restrictions. My life is opening up. I am free to choose my reality. That's absolutely beautiful. And it is so true. You are free to choose your reality. You are ch free to choose to move away from whatever is no longer serving you and move towards new beautiful beginnings and wish fulfillments. This is what I see. These are the messages I have for you, Virgo. I truly hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, please like the video, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you feel comfortable, comment on the reading. Let me know what you think and I would love to hear from you. Thank you for being here. Bye for now.